talk to you about a book called A Mouse Called Wolf. Uh, this is a very good read for young readers. There are actually four or five difficult words, like really difficult words. And I think that's good because that is how we are introduced to harder language. So the story is very simple and very straightforward. The writing is simple and straightforward, except for these four or five words that a student might have to look up. Uh, this book is 98 pages, but it has pictures and the writing is fairly large. So not really, maybe 50 pages, really. Um, let me give you an example. A name. Wolfgang Amadeus Mouse was the youngest of 13 children. He was also the smallest. His mother had given the other 12 mouse pups quite ordinary names like Bill or Jane. But when she looked at her last born and saw that he was only half as big as his brothers and sisters, she said to herself, he should have an important sounding name to make up for, the, for his lack of size. On second thought, he should have two important sounding names. But what should they be? Now, it so happened that this particular mother mouse lived in a house belonging to a lady who played the piano. It was a grand piano that stood close to a living room wall so that its left front leg almost touched the molding. In the molding, hidden from the human eye by the piano leg, was a hole. In this hole lived the mouse mother, whose name was Mary. One night when the lady of the house had played a final tune on the piano and gone to bed, Mary came out of the hole in the molding. She ran up the left front leg and onto the keyboard, which, as usual, had been left open, and bounced along over the keys. But even though she was heavy with young, she was still much too light to make any noise. And so on.